starting in three, two, one. All right, so uh, so I will say this. Uh, hold on, let me make sure it's still recording. Let me make sure it's still good. All right, cool. Got both our mics. <clears throat> I want to start by saying this. I'm completely overwhelmed, Jada. <laughs> So you gonna have to take the point on this because I am completely over it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Yeah. After this, I think I'm 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 probably gonna be done talking about them because they just getting too much attention. Mm-hmm. For this nonsense. Yes, agreed. So, um, first of all, welcome back. Mm-hmm. Edit again with another video. Oh, look at you sound like a uh, YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say what's going on, guys. This uh, no, 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 coming back to <laughs> not with doing another that. video. Uh-uh. We're not doing that. All right, go. Anyways, ahead. um. So I came across this post and it it got me scratching my head a little bit. And so I wanted to get your reaction to it wow. to see how you feel about it. <laughs> Cause I know that you just love this topic so much. Um, so apparently Jada Pinkett has, I don't know if she said this publicly or if she's said this to a friend or whoever. I thought it was fake. I don't know which, I don't know who she said it to. I don't know. Right. But I thought it was fake until I started seeing it come from reputable sources. Yeah. So when the news starts reporting on it, that's when I go, okay, this might have some type of weight to it. But when I first saw it on that, like that Facebook post, Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I I don't, I ain't buying it. Right. I was like, if this is true, anybody could have made that. Yeah. I said, if this is true, it's disgusting. Right. Mm -hmm. But when I start seeing it from other places that I do see reputable news from, Mm -hmm. like what we have up here right now, I have seen news come from them. That is legit news. They could put some fake stuff up too, but I've seen the birth of real news. Yeah. This is a daily mail. Um, they usually have reputable sources for the most part from what i see um, i don't know i don't go to the website i just see what i see on facebook and double check it right so apparently jada pinkett has jada pinkett smith excuse me has come out and said that she wished that will smith did not physically attack or physically smack whatever you want to say um with chris rock at the oscars and that she does not need protecting so apparently oh, yeah. we'll agree with her that he was he overreacted and that it shouldn't have happened and so on and so forth so all right I'm, let me take this down let me take this down okay you keep going no you keep going i'm just taking this down so i'm so confused by this right mm-hmm. because first of all if you wish that he did not attack chris rock why did you let him get up and get on that stage? I said that in the podcast. Didn't I say that in the podcast? Yeah, we, we, I, we I, went I, over I a little bit. I talked about what a yeah. queen should have did in that situation when her man got up. She should have grabbed him and stopped him from and I mean, on that stage. I mean, it's possible she didn't know what he was going to do. Bull. But at the same time, Bull. She if, if, you, she, knew, if you, you know how, you know, most of the time you know your husband. This, I know in my situation, I already know what your triggers are and what your cues are, and I already know if somebody says something about, about me and and that's gonna that I, that you know is gonna offend me. I know how you're gonna react, and I know when to stop you. Yeah, if I, if I'm getting up and walking toward like this, is the thing this is like I don't buy the whole she don't she didn't know right because okay. people didn't give Chris Rock the benefit of the doubt right. The majority says that Chris Rock knew about her hair. So I'm going to a belief and not give benefit of the doubt that Jada don't know her husband. Okay. And when Will laughed and he looked at her and saw her roll her eyes and the smile was gone and he jumped up and was walking toward that stage, mm-hmm. she should have said, yo, chill, chill out. What are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. Because even if she, let's, let's, let's say if she didn't know that he was going to smack her, mm-hmm. what good smack comes him. of uh, smack him? What good comes of him getting up and walking to that stage? Nothing yeah, good exactly, comes of that. Exactly. That that literally ended Lil Mama's career, if you remember. Remember when Jay Z and Alicia Keys were performing in New York? Oh yeah. And Lil Mama's and Lil from Mama New York, and she up got up to stage. walk to the stage. Yeah. And got on stage, folded her arms. It was no no harm, but it was like Lil Mama, what the heck is you doing? And she, exactly. her career was done after that. She had yep. blackballed, and I mean, she hosted a couple of dance shows, but overall, her rap career was done. They were, she was made out to be an industry punchline. Mm-hmm. So. I, I, I believe that Jada would have knew what Will was getting up there to do, and I think she should have she should have stopped. She should have stopped them. I agree with that one hundred percent. Um, and there were pictures that was circulating as well of after the incident of them kind of like head together, yeah, like in a love a way, like she was showing him affection, like in a thank you kind of way. Mm-hmm. So my thing is, if you talking about you don't need protecting, then. Why are you kind of like glorifying this to him? Like you're giving him a mixed signal. 
yes. thinking that he did something right. Don't don't hold my head. Give me some love and say, baby, you did you did the thing. And then when it's time, you know, you finally speak on it, you go, I wish you didn't do this. I didn't need your protecting. It's like exactly. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you're 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 not protecting your husband because even if you didn't agree with what he did at least in the limelight you support your husband mm. i mean yeah everybody knows that it was wrong but at the end of the day the one person that should have had his back in this is you because he was there standing up for you and even if you don't think that he should have smacked let's let's say she didn't know mm -hmm. that he was gonna smack him mm -hmm. she disagreed with him smacking him why is she speaking about this in public? That's, that, I've that's been, what I'm saying. I've been yeah. saying that from the get go. Jada is giving people ammo. Mm -hmm. Stop talking. Yep. Shut up. I when agree. stuff hits the fan and stuff is going on, you are instructed to shut up. Like the police pull you over. And shut up. <laughs> when you are under the you eye, that right you're under the, the, the silence. You are under the spotlight. <laughs> shut up. Yep. If if you if the, if she wanted to say anything, all she could have said was, "I support my husband or whatever my husband is doing." Yep. That's it. I ain't got nothing to bad to say about my husband. You can look at it however you feel. You're entitled to feel how you feel, mm -hmm. but I'ma stand by my husband. That don't mean that you're endorsing his actions. That don't mean you agree, but you're doing what a wife should do and standing behind beside your husband. Yep. What exactly. is that? Exactly. If it, this it is just, real, what it, is that? It, it doesn't make sense because. You're showing him time at the time at the time that one that you're not supporting him and two in a sense that you don't care about him. Like it's starting to show it's too like many Tupac. things. I don't like little Tupac. <laughs> I'm gonna call her that to the time. So I don't give a up. damn about that alopecia. It's not cancer, bro. And if it come out that she had like alopecia, uh, not alopecia, if she had like leukemia or something like that, then I apologize and take everything I said mm -hmm. back. But right now, why as it stands, it's just alopecia. I don't care. Tupac. Well, and speaking of the alopecia thing, um, there are sources saying that Chris Rock spoke up and said that he did not know that she had alopecia. So. Again, don't know if those sources are true or not, but that something that also has been circulating is that Chris Rock did not. Know. It's also been circulating for years that Chris Rock is mentally challenged, like he's yeah. borderline autistic, mm -hmm. and nobody cares about I forget that. What it's called? Is he he can't pick up on social uh, cues. Social cues. Yeah. So like, if I walked up to him and I was like, I was going to cause him harm, he wouldn't even recognize it. He would allow me to get close, thinking I'm a fan, regardless of like I was clearly showing malicious intent. Yeah. So he, which is he, why he didn't pick up on Will. He didn't pick up on Will, him. and he may not even have picked up on Jada being, you know, like because he knows when a joke hit or don't hit, right? Because yeah. if he tell a joke, he's been a comedian for so long. When he tell a joke, and everybody go, "Oh," he go, "Come on," you know. That's the that's the trained reaction to a joke. Yeah. Usually, somebody do that with a joke. If you notice comedians, every time somebody react like that to their jokes, they go, "What? Come on!" Like that's their reaction. Mm -hmm. So, like, I I don't know. I don't think he recognized. Even if he recognized that. Jada was a. I don't think he recognized that Jada was offended. I think that he told the joke, saw that the crowd was being a little uptight about it, and was like, "All right, whatever." And then when he let Will walk all the way up to him and smack him, he didn't recognize that that was confrontation coming his way. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. Like, yo, you know the script. You read the script, right? Right. Nowhere in your script did it say Will Smith approached the stage. <laughs> so you should have knew that he's coming to smack fire to your face to do something. But Chris Rock is a little bit off or whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, but I just wanted to mention it. You mentioned, <laughs> you mentioned like a fact or something like that. I wanted to mention about another fact. About him not knowing about her. Uh, about him not knowing that. That's why I mentioned that. Okay. But, but yeah, I, I really don't care about them. I'm kind of over both of them, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I think it, it, it's definitely something that has is still is people still talking about it. It's starting it's to die down a little it, bit. I don't know but, why it hasn't gone away yet. Because it's people like drama. It's drama. But this is the thing. Like, it, it's crazy because the first, I saw this first on Facebook. Right. And the thing too. about Facebook is Facebook is weird. So on Twitter, Twitter will get upset about something and they'll be done with you in 24 to 48 hours. Like mm -hmm. if I ever get like, if I ever say something that goes viral and people hate me about it on Twitter, mm -hmm. I'll have like little stragglers in my mentions forever hating me. Mm -hmm. But the masses, they'll be over me in like 24 to 48 hours. You just, okay. just, just turn off your notifications. That's how it works on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. But on Facebook, they will hate you for life. Like you, you make legit enemies on Facebook and it's last forever. So I thought that this was some BS when I saw it on Facebook. Then when I saw it on Twitter again, I said, like, well, Twitter brought it back. What the heck? And then I started seeing it come from like sources like this. But it's like, I'm just over them. Now, what yeah. I will say is August Alcina, I supported you, dog. <laughs> I supported you. When you made the Entanglement song, people call it bozo behavior, and I still supported you. Mm -hmm. It was semi-bozo behavior, but I, I thought the song was hot, so I let it slide. Because yeah. Ray J did, I hit it first. And that was a banger, so I yeah. let that slide too. Yeah. 
Uh, but uh, when he did this song, I said, "All right, man, it's corny, but it's hard." Now they're talking about this fool finna come out with a book. He finna uh, pay the six figure check to come out a book to detail his his uh relationship with Jada Pinkett. How you feel about that? We actually didn't discuss this at all before the pod. We did not. Oh, not pod. Um, whatever episode. What are we doing? How I feel about that is, I guess I've seen him to sit his stuff down. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. I feel like he's taking this and he's running with it. He is. Now it's a PR stunt. Yeah, First, it was like he was hurt. Sure. And when he was hurt, all right, cool. Like he had, because when this happened, when Will smacked uh, Chris, mm-hmm. he found a way to inject himself. He had put like this post. Of like, he, did. he put up that uh, that post, like, uh, it's about healing. But it's like a whole paragraph. It's super hard to read because it's that <laughs> fake hotel deep stuff that <laughs> the diabolical, biological, logical, <laughs> that band rock, that Yama Dava do type of rap, uh, whatever. <laughs> That's what he was doing with his, his post. And I can't read that. I swear, I don't know what it is. It got to be a disability. It got to be something wrong with me mentally. Because when somebody writes like that, my brain just shuts off and it doesn't allow me to read it. Like, I could sit there and stare at it for about five minutes mm-hmm. and I won't make it past the second line. Like, my brain just won't allow me. It'll just keep veering off the page. So okay. he did that with Jada when she first smacked uh, him. Uh, Chris, when Will Smirk first smacked Chris, right. he did that, and I saw that post. I said, "Come on, bro! Ain't nobody reading all this. Shut up! This ain't got nothing to do with you. Don't do inject sure. yourself. I mean, yeah, people are mentioning you again, right? Because they feel like this is part of it. But you just ain't got nothing technically to do with you, right? So go go sit down somewhere. And then now he's talking about he's going to do this tell-all book about her. It's like, bro, this is a PR stunt. Go go sit down, dog. Yeah, You're in the like, cornball. Because the other thing about that is, it's like. The only reason why it became as big as it did is because, first of all, August Alcina is the first one to to come out with the story and say something about it. And then because it came out, that's when Will and Jada went on a red table talk and explained what happened. Yeah, But, um, like, years have passed. Let it go, bro. Since they, like, you came out with the story years after all of this stuff happened. What is the point of you doing this now? It's like you're doing this to put yourself in the limelight. Yeah, it's. It, I don't. Need, I think it's bigger than Jada now. Yeah. Because when it, it first yeah. happened, I said, "Damn!" Like she, he was hurt, right? Mm-hmm. He was vulnerable. She played him. He showed text messages and everything when she was like trying to act like they were really in a relationship, or that he had he, his time was coming and it never came. She was playing him. Yeah. So I got that pain, but we're we're years later, mm-hmm. years removed, bro. It's time for you to move out the spotlight because the thing is, if you really wanted this right to be in the spotlight the right way mm-hmm. after you did that entanglement song and you were buzzing or whatever and then you dropped that trash album like i'm a huge august fan but that album that came out after entanglement the album was hot ass garbage it was garbage <laughs> i love august i've seen that's coming from a fan yeah i think his first album i think it was called testimony or whatever with him like in brown playing the keyboard or whatever on the cover mm-hmm. i think they had kissing my on my tattoos uh oh, man, I know. uh it has some uh, songs on that i can't remember it's been years but I I, uh, I love that album. Mm-hmm. I love August Alcina's music, his approach to music. But that album was hot ass garbage. And what he <laughs> should have did, if he was truly like you know trying to stay in the the, if he was trying to push his music and his message, mm-hmm. you know he could have dropped another album. Even though the album was trash, he still had the eyes on. Him, he could have did that. But riding the coattails of Jada Pinkett ain't gonna work, bro. At the end right. of the day, her name is Jada Pinkett Smith. Mm-hmm. Yes, she wild out what she did. We we can judge it, we can disagree with it, we can agree with it, whatever. But at the end of the day, that's not going to change the facts that at, no matter what happened between them, she is still Will Smith's wife. It's time for you to let it go, dog. Exactly. And even though you know they came out, you know about them being separated at the time, they were not officially divorced. It's not like they got a full fledged divorce. Which is why I understand, and- but. But that's the thing. Even though, yeah, I heard you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm no, sorry. I was just going to say, like, you know, you have to still face the fact that you was messing around with a married woman. There you go, and yeah. a lot of times they and people say this all the time. And unless a, someone is actually going through the routes of getting a divorce, mm-hmm. a lot of times couples reconcile. Yeah. And that's the thing, because a lot of people are on the outside mad. Right. Mm-hmm. And saying, like, oh, you tricked me. And I thought we was going to be together. And you lied. I said that y'all was going to break up. And you don't even know they literally could have been about to to, mm-hmm. to break up or divorce and stuff like that. Um, and they worked it out. Me and you have been in instances where me and you have really not been seeing eye to eye. We're like, yo, we're not going to do this anymore in the yep. past. And, and and we worked it out. Yep. It happens. It, it happens. happens. And I'm pretty sure dudes be like, I'm pretty sure in their situation, right? 
she there is a pot like okay we like to crack jokes on jada mm -hmm. but realistically speaking i mean yeah we saw the text messages right right which which shows how messed up it was we know the timeline how messed it messed up it is right mm -hmm. but if you remove those those factors right at the end of the day she was married and mm -hmm. she was not divorced Yep. And she could have told you lies, sold you a dream. And I agree and sympathize with the fact that that is wrong that she did that. But I am also able to be fair. I'm not going to allow me not liking Jada and the stuff that she does in public. I wouldn't say disliking her, just disliking the things that she do yeah, that she's yeah, made the public. Situation. I don't so know Jada. Yeah. But I, me disliking the things that she's done in the public eye, I can at least be fair and mm -hmm. say that, yes, what I've seen is wrong. But she's still a married woman, dog. You got to get over it. She yeah. was married. And if she never put pen to paper, I can see if she divorced Will and then remarried Will. Right. That's what I, I was saying. I can see that yeah, hurting. That's but, the same thing I was saying. Bro, they married. Let it go, dog. I'm tired of him popping back up in the picture like the crazy ex. She was married, bro. It's time to let it go. Right. And it's like, it's like, it's nothing you can do about it. Like it. Yeah, they had their issues. Y'all had whatever little situation that y'all had going on. And then it ended. And then her and her husband decided to work things out. Things like that happen. It happens all the time. time. It go, it's time bro. to let it go. It's time to move on with your life because if you keep holding on to that, mm -hmm. you're never gonna get anywhere. I hope Will Smith let it go. I need I Will mean, Smith. To, I hope I need Will Smith to to, to let that situation because it seems like that stuff still bothers Will. Of it seems, it it seems like the situation him. still bothers Will, and I hope that he gets to a happy space. But I personally don't know if Will just from outside looking in, right? Because I, I I like to reiterate that I don't know the in depth details, just what they make public. Mm -hmm. And from what it looks like, it looks like Will hasn't healed. He's not done healing from all that stuff. You can say that it was an open marriage and all this stuff. It is what it is. But that doesn't mean that Will ain't human. That doesn't right. mean that even if Will was doing his thing, that it didn't bother him knowing that his child's friend was piping out his wife. Yeah, he looked like he looked like trash on the the clips that was they did the red table talk. He looked exhausted. He didn't look too too hot. I yeah. think he's still dealing with healing from that situation. And it's it's a possibility it, that he he is. The, I'm sorry to cut you off, but he's str struggling from it because you know we don't know if like they act, act, ever like did counseling or anything. Yeah. for these type of things, and a lot of times like if you don't seek that help. To be able to move on from it, it lingers. They need that. I think they need it. The stuff that she makes public and the way that she talks, you can tell that she thinks she got this psychology thing down packed. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not saying she's a psychologist, right. but she attempts to emulate that type of content. Mm -hmm. And with her trying to emulate that type of content, in her mind, she may be like that. You know, they say a doctor is the worst type of patient. Yep. I could imagine a, psych a psychologist being the worst type of patient for a psychologist it, yeah i can definitely see so that i, I can see how her going into therapy she'd go to therapy and probably try to be manipulative and he's trying to get through to her it's like i, I feel like they need some honest true therapy because mm -hmm. i've seen clips of them it's like other clips resurfacing now because of this whole situation yeah and it's kind of it's kind of sad because like it was a clip of it's like will smith just agrees with her because he'll, he'll say some stuff and I, I get it. We don't see things. Everybody don't see things the same way. Anybody right. don't see things how I see it. Right. But I seen this clip of Will Smith. Um, her like thirty seventh birthday had passed or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, I saw that clip too. And and Will Smith was like, "We're going to do a documentary. We're going to have cameras going and recording the next three years of life. We're going to put a short film together for you. We're going to celebrate it." And when they made it to her first, man, she let all this stuff happen. She let the recording happen from thirty seven. She let it happen to 38. She let it happen to 39. And then when she gets to 40 years old, she curses Will Smith out and says that this was for his ego. Mm -hmm. And Will Smith agreed with her, right? But we don't know if Will Smith truly agrees with her because a lot of times people grow up with that happy wife, happy life uh, 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 syndrome. Yeah. I, I, think, I think that's crazy. I, I, I don't necessarily agree with the happy wife, happy life. I think that it needs to be a, a happy marriage, mm -hmm. happy life. Both people need to be happy for it to be successful successful um but i feel like he he believes in the happy wife happy life because like yo she watched you do that for three years and then she cursed you out at the end saying it was for you and you just go and you're right like bro if she felt like it was so bad she should have called you out about it a long time ago 
she didn't have to endure that for three years. Yeah, and it's, it's like every time we hear a story about them, it's not like we hear a story of like, yo, Will was just this asshole. Will was just this terrible person and Jada Pinkett had to leave because she had to get his ego in check. We never hear those stories. And if those are stories that are true, let's hear those stories because we constantly hear the one sidedness of Jada having these meltdowns, Jada being obsessed with Tupac. Jada has her daughter write letters to Tupac because that who, who will make mommy happy. We, we we have this situation where she cursed him out for the thing mm -hmm. and, to, and and Will all Will has done is said, yo, I can't fix you. You got to find happiness. I'm leaving. That's it. It's always been one side of where it seems like Jada is running over Will and creating this 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 narrative. And I just I don't know. This is why I'm over it, because I feel like I can't care more than you care, bro. If Will Smith don't care and it appears that his wife is running over him and he, you know, appears to the world like he ain't got no balls, mm -hmm. that's his business. That's right. why I'm over it because I, I truly don't <laughs> care. I think it's messed up that they smack Chris Rock. I think Chris Rock is like, oh, he smacked Chris Rock. I feel like that's weak because Chris Rock is small, frail. He's a comedian. It's jokes, blah, blah. We, we don't need to keep uh, beating that dead horse. Right. That part I don't respect. But as far as his, him, his marriage, how they handle it, I don't care. Right. I don't care. I'm over I, it. And I agree with that because I um I was one of those people, you know, when everybody was on the internet talking about their open marriage and all that stuff. And I, I, I was one of those people that was like, why do y'all care what they do in their marriage? You know, like that's their business. If they're in an open, uh, open marriage, hey, that's 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 on them. Bro, that's as long their... as you ain't hurting kids, I don't care. Exactly. Don't don't hurt like, kids that's... and don't assault people. And I I'm yeah, all it's like that's it. that's their marriage. If they both agree to do that, why are y'all mad? That, yep. That's what they agreed to do. But like this stuff, like that they're doing now, I'm just like, it's it's too much. Y'all are doing too much now. It's oversharing. Yeah, I, I don't understand. Like we live in an era. We live in this this climate. People don't want to stop showing everything. Like, stop it. Like, you see the girls in lingerie and butt naked, booty clapping. You see men and you see men uh, 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 doing stuff like you know drug dealing, posted online, mm -hmm. showing their money off. You see women uh, 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 bashing the baby daddies and stuff like that for attention on social media. Yep. Nobody keeps stuff in house anymore. Nope. It don't make sense, and it's weird because like. <laughs> When I was growing up, my mom would be like, yo, what happens in my house stays in my house. Now, don't get me wrong. She didn't go by that. She's wanted <laughs> us to go by that. She told all of our damn business. But her mindset was what happens in this house stays in this house. Mm -hmm. And I think outside of abuse, I think that that should be the case outside of abuse. Right. Don't hide Instead abuse. Of, it's not of outside of anything that's harmful. Yeah, because my big thing is people are going to forgive they're going to forgive each other, right? I don't care what Will and Jada go through. Will and Jada is going to constantly forgive him, forgive yep. each other. Yep. Is everybody else going to forgive? Yep. I and was just talking about that to, I don't remember who it was, but I was just talking about that to somebody else saying like, you know, that's why you don't involve other people in your relationships because if for whatever reason they decide to get back together, they reconcile and this person forgive this person, all these outside people, they're not necessarily going to forgive like you did. Yep. So that's why you are not supposed to involve everybody in all of your business because you're going to get that backlash. You're going to get the criticism. You're going to get all of that from people that ain't got nothing to do with your relationship. And then the worst thing about this is these are celebrities, right? So you're, they're getting backlash from non-celebrities. They're getting backlash from the general population. And it's like, you didn't have to share that information with us. You didn't have to give us the, am the to ammunition. Us to, all of that. Because it, it's just so dumb. People can say, it ain't your business, it ain't your business, it ain't your business. You cannot say, mind your business about stuff that's put in a public form. Like, I hate when I see that. Like, I, I see that in my, my friends list. And I, I hate that I can, I, like, it's not like every video I'm talking about chicks, 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 chicks. <laughs> but it's like, I don't see this stuff from the males in my friends list. Mm -hmm. But I always see chicks who post something online. And then people will hop in their comment section, like critiquing them mm -hmm. and they'll go get out of my business. Or like if it's a girl, they'll say, get out of my business. Or if it's a dude, why you don't want women's business or whatever to, to say that you shouldn't be minding what they do. Yeah. But it's like you're putting it on you're social media. It on, exactly. Shut up. Exactly. If you didn't want people in your business, don't post it online. Bro. That's like you're when you post something online, you are telling people, hey. I want your opinion. Hey, I want to know what you guys have to say about this. That's mm. usually what it is. Mm -hmm. When you post stuff online, it's for attention. Yep. You're not doing it just because. Most of the time, it's for some type of attention, some type of feedback. 
yeah. some type of comment, some something. Bro. And you're going to get those. You're not going to always get people that's going to agree with you. You're not going to always get the positive comments. Those comments, you're going to get some negative ones too, especially with people that don't agree with and you. And that's why I don't put nothing personal. If, if me and you fighting and arguing with each other, mm -hmm. we're not fighting because we've never fought. No, but not arguing. Yeah, yeah. But arguing. Me and you arguing and we ain't feeling each other, whatever. I'm not going to go to social media and tell social media that. Yep. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not finna call my mama and say, you know what, Shonda is, is, is irking me. I'm not finna call my mama every single time that me and you are having issues. I'm not gonna call my friends because at the end of the day, they may build up a grudge for you. They mm -hmm. may end up having, you know, nasty feelings towards you or whatever. Yep, exactly. And one, they only know my side of the story. Yep. Two, uh, um, I'm going to inevitably forgive you. Right. And I can't say that they'll do the same. And then most of the time, because if, if you're telling like your family or you're telling your friends, most of the time, they're going to back up your side. Exactly, because they love you. The loyalty lies with you. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Will understands that, like, bro, we don't give a damn about Jada Pinkett. We really don't. A lot of us grew up with Will Smith, the yeah. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, uh, Wild Wild West. You know Wild Wild West was corny. <laughs> Men in Black, Bad Boys, uh, Hitch, Hancock. I can name projects. Ali, let's get into serious stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, he recently, I didn't see that Serena Venus, uh, Serena, Serena and Venus that, Williams movie he just King did. Richard I didn't see that about, like about their father. I didn't see that. Yeah. But it's like, yo, Will Smith has been around our entire lives. So it's the same concept of where family is going to back you. Yeah. The fans are going to back Will because we care about Will. Jada ain't did nothing for us. We don't really care. Like she's had roles and I'm not trying to diminish her. Yeah, she was like set it off. And I, I think she appeared in the Fresh Prince at some point. Maybe. Um, I don't know. She might have, but I'm she not sure. She might have. I don't know. Because he had a bunch of like girls on there. I think I think Neil Long may have been the longest running yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, because she was like his long term running girlfriend on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I, but outside of that, like, bro, America isn't attached to you. That's why Jada Pinkett is able to do all this crazy stuff. I don't know if you've seen. She was like a in a rock band or something like that. I seen a clip of that earlier. Yeah, was it a rock band or was it a country band? It was it was rock. It was definitely rock. In the clip, rock. I saw okay. she was like doing that weird yelling at blah, blah, blah. Like she was doing that weird demonic yelling thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, but Will was sitting there supporting or whatever. Like, bro, she's able to venture and do all these things. It's, we don't care. We have no attachment to Jada. Mm -hmm. So we look at Will Smith. I think, I think it's second nature that people want to protect Will because we grew up with Will. Will is a, a symbol in our culture. Yeah. And um, I don't I don't think that she understands that it will ever grasp that. And I get that she's got her growing fan base with the whole red table talk and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then she's pulling women in. But I'm sorry, Jada will never hold the caliber or status that that will does, which is where the 2016 Chris Rock joke comes from. Yeah, you can't you can't boycott an adventure not invited to. It's like me and Rihanna's panties. I'm not invited, <laughs> right? So that's where that jokes come from. Because yeah. Jada, we don't care about you. Right. We don't we don't care about you. Jada's like um, remember uh Vic from uh, uh from 2K where you have frequency vibration? <laughs> yeah, and Vic was like, I'm a friend of freak, and that was his this his catchphrase because he was riding the coattails. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Jada. You, <laughs> I'm not I'm not saying Jada is nothing, right? We know who Jada is, but I think the problem that people have with Jada is people see her as crazy and overall we low key like we want to we want to protect Will. And I'm saying we could myself included. Mm -hmm. When I see Will looking like a damn goofy, I don't like it. it I don't know what it is. I don't know Will personally. But I don't like seeing Will Smith look like a goofy, and that's because I grew up with that dude. It's almost like you can kind of tell that their relationship is one-sided. It feels like I, it that. Feels I, like I can't say that, that to be true, right? Because yeah. I like to say from the outside looking in. Right. But I, I can go ahead. I just want to... Yeah, it's, it, that's there. what it feels like, because it seems like every, every time they're talking, every time something comes out publicly about them, it seems like Will is giving more of an effort, show, showing more of an effort than jada is like even with the video about um the birthday party where he said you know he planned her 40th birthday party for three years doing all the documentary and all of that stuff and it's like not only did you like diminish the work that he put into this like you wasn't even appreciative and you turned it on him and you know told him it was all about his ego and he agreed to it but it's like whatever but it's the matter of the amount of work that he put into that and you didn't even show any type of appreciation so it's mm -hmm. like it seems like everything is is one sided. Yeah. Like I'm well, well, I cannot one sided more so like lopsided. Yeah. <laughs> like she probably does have a lot of love for him, 
and I, I mean they've been together all these these years they have these kids together I do think so he's always gonna be a second have, love I don't think she ever got over Tupac I don't think she ever will I mean she probably never didn't I mean he did die abruptly you know yeah. I don't think she will so. ever get over I think Tupac was her first love and I think there's regret attached to that because they were friends who may have like tiptoed around it, mm-hmm. but I don't ever remember hearing them being an official thing. Mm-hmm. So I think because they tiptoed around it and she never got to fully experience his love, I think that haunts her to this day, to be honest, like all jokes aside. That's yeah. that's my opinion, not fact. Like resentment type thing. No, I not mean, well, toward Will, yes. Yeah. I feel like yeah, I think there's a resentment toward Will. But I, I, I do think that there's love for Pac there. I mean, I, I it's possible. I mean, you know, they say you never get over your first love if he was indeed your first love. Yeah. Um, which I don't agree with that term, but yeah, um, I don't agree either. <laughs> but um, I don't know. It's just their relationship. It's it's weird. Um, I agree that I feel like we need to protect Will because it doesn't look like no one else is. And it's kind of sad. I'm at the point where protect yourself, do your thing. If you're I not mean, protect- yeah, but it's just kind of sad that you know so many people is siding with Jada on this whole Chris Rock situation that happened at the Oscars. Yeah, just leaving Will out to and- dry. The dude, they just canceled. I guess this is how we found. So they were making another Bad Boys, mm-hmm. and this is how we found out they were keeping on the hush hush. They were recording another Bad Boys, and they halted it. And it was amongst the list of movies that were halted for Will because him smacking Chris Rock. He had a lot of opportunity stock. I guess he had like three or four movies in rotation that was about to drop. And really? they all halted because he smacked Chris Rock. Yeah, because I saw something that said um, he resigned from the Academy. Which is literally nothing. Literally nothing. So do you know that? Do you know what happens when you resign? No. So I, I researched it. And from what I read, nothing happens. So all only thing that happens is if you are part of the Academy, you're allowed to vote on award winners. Mm-hmm. But let's say if you resign from the Academy instead of being banned, you lose your right to vote. Okay. That's where it ends. So you can still come to events, uh, okay. but you just can't vote. And I, I think you can vote. even still be nominated, but you literally can't vote. That's it. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. But, you know, a lot of people are saying that they don't think it's going to hurt his career. I think it has already hurt it's his already career. Hurt his career. Um, and like you said, a lot of his stuff is already being halted. I mean, eventually it might pick back up, but we just never know. Yeah. You know, so I don't know. I do think that. I don't know. It's it's a sad situation. It's yeah. a very very sad situation. Can we can we? Uh, I asked for this during the podcast. Mm-hmm. All right, we're we're here again. Can they stay out the news, please? <laughs> I don't want to talk about them no more. I I seriously don't care. Like I I, I, I gave you the best that I could. Soon. I know you want to talk about this. You brought this up our video, and I mm-hmm. I appreciate the ideas. Right, I'm not gonna shut down your ideas. Mm-hmm. I think that's amazing. It's a you know a new content creator, mm-hmm. so I appreciate it. I'm gonna give you what I got. I don't want to talk about these fools no damn more. I promise. I gave you how much I gave you. I gave you thirty minutes. This might as well be another pod. This might as well be welcome. Hey, here, here we go at the very end of the video. Welcome to Couples Therapy. This is episode two of the pod. This is a short episode. I gave you thirty-two. I gave you thirty-two strong minutes about Will and Jada, and I'm well, over. It wasn't just them. about Will and Jada. We talked about other stuff too. It literally was about Will and Jada. <laughs> we brought up August and all this stuff, and it all circles of Will and Jada. That's what we talked about. But okay. But yeah, we're 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 done. We're done. I just wanted to so get So if something that comes out. out tomorrow, can we skip that? Yes, we can skip if it. If something comes out tomorrow, we're gonna skip it. <laughs> we're done. Everything short of some guns. Like if guns get the blur and they come out with some Glock dookies, <laughs> really? I wanna talk about that. Really? I wanna talk about but that. Really? If some Glock dookies, no, I wanna talk about that. We're not talking about that. No, but, we're not gonna involve uh, that. Oh uh, somebody can say plus <laughs> disgusting i no, want to talk about not, that we're not going to be that sad but bitch, if okay? it comes to this relationship i don't want to talk about it no more but i do want to talk to you about um russell wilson and sierra we're gonna roll this into the next video okay. i don't want to talk about it on this one we're going to talk about it in the next video okay all right hold on let me stop this and restart it oh, oh hold on before i stop this restart it we didn't even do an outro all right oh you're right you got anything to say then for the outro no, I think I'm good to go. You good? I'm good. All right, we're going to get you an outro. But if you made it to this <laughs> video, thank you for your time. Like, comment, subscribe to support Shonda. Really? <laughs> and we out. <laughs>